Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I want to talk to you about something that I've not heard discussed so far in the realm of Halo Infinite, and that is custom campaigns. Now me, as a forger, I love creating experiences that are immersive. And on a few interviews I did recently, I was talking about the potential of Halo Infinite's forge being built upon the assets that were in Halo 5 in such a way that we would be able to actually create custom campaigns. Now, what would this look like? A great example of this is actually Far Cry 5. In that editor, unfortunately, it, it didn't have a great customs browser, but the editor was phenomenal. It had a landscape editor, it had AI, it had all of that, and you could essentially create mini missions within that game that you could then play Unfortunately, not really with many people because of, once again, how the custom process was set out. But I'll put a few videos up on the screen here of just what that looks like. It was such a unique experience. It was so cool. And speak about longevity. Imagine if the community could not only make maps, but could then dive into the realm of, hey, you could put a few elites here, you could put a few grunts here, and brutes here, and weapons scattered all over and create a scene in, in an environment that is truly immersive. Custom campaigns, I believe, would be one of the elements that take Forge to that next level. If you look at what was in Halo 5, you had bodies for the first time ever. You had um, placeable, actual, like, massive blocks and pallets of, of terrain that you could alter, some were hills. Some were flat lands, some of them were actually um, like uh, ramps, right? You just had a variety of different options in, in Halo 5 for what type of terrain you could lay down. And what I think that's gonna evolve into is a landscape editor. And a landscape editor means that we would have larger landscapes, essentially, to be able to create an experience within. And with Halo Infinite being so geared towards vehicles, I believe that the Forge would be more geared towards larger experiences as well. Especially if the, the leaks are true about a BTB 2.0 becoming a reality in the game itself. So with the landscape editor there, imagine now since in Halo 5 they had bodies, with the new Slipspace engine they are allowed to actually successfully and easily implement AI. What this means is that you can make massive terrains, implement AI within them, script them in certain areas, whatever the situation may be, and possibly even script cameras to trigger at certain points during the actual Forge session so it could act as checkpoints and cutscenes. I talked about this with Halo VFX and I thought it was just an incredible idea. But, that, you know, I'm looking at the next Forge as something that's going to go even deeper into what looks like a dev level tool, right? Something that you would see in Unreal Engine or uh, something within that realm. So of course it's not gonna be as detailed and it's not gonna be even close to what that is uh, as an engine itself, but it's gonna allow the community to have greater detail and control over the experiences they are trying to curate. And I think that if implementing AI is a thing, that custom campaigns will be something as well because of the fact of, of how Halo Infinite's marketing structure looks so far. They are trying to, well, first of all, it's a games as a service, so this platform is supposed to be relevant for 10 years, right? Halo Infinite, like the game that we're getting, may just be one out of many within that 10-year cycle. However, the Forge may be the primary Forge at least for half of that cycle or more. And I think that with the new engine, once again, what we are going to receive is something that really, that a game that leans heavily on the Forge for custom creations so that the devs can really streamline their workflow and their process into creating dev-made maps and the custom armors and the textures that are coming with the game and, and many, many other things. But giving the community a forge that is so powerful to be able to create its own content will make the game relevant for 10 years that is the thing that halo has that every other game that i've played so far does not have and has not achieved to the success that halo has 
you know, a lot of games have editors, but they don't have a custom browser as vibrant and you just honestly as live as uh, as Halo. So that's my opinion. That's why I believe there may be custom campaigns in the custom browser. Imagine that if it wasn't just arena maps and BTB maps, but the evolution of that was, hey, can we create our own experiences with AI? I love that idea and I believe in that idea. I don't know if it'll become a ra reality, but I know AI is one of the most requested features in Halo. So, for that reason, that's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? You think we'll get AI? You think, um, actually, yeah, what, what elements of Halo 5's Forge do you think are going to be built upon uh, to greater lengths with a new engine in a new game? Leave the comments below. Custom campaigns. Are you a fan of it? Do you want to see that? And if so, what type of campaign mission would you create? Leave those comments below. If you feel like I provided you value today, make sure you tap that like button and subscribe. Once again, if you feel like I provided you value. And lastly, guys, I've officially set up a Patreon. The link is in the description below. If you guys support me there, it would be greatly appreciated just because of the fact that that then enables me to continue forging every single day, refining my skills, and bringing the Halo community more and more incredible, immersive maps and experiences. That's my goal. That's that's what brings me joy in the Halo community. And uh, if you feel that is a value and you can contribute, whether it's a couple dollars or whatever donation you feel uh, comfortable putting up, it's greatly appreciated. So thank you guys so much once again. I'll see you guys on the next video. Talk to you later. Peace.